If walls could talk, imagine the tales those at Dogfish Head Craft Brewery would have to tell. Especially now that the company based in Milton that Sam Caligioni and his wife Mariah started in the mid-90s is more than 26 years old. And marking that quarter of a century milestone uh, made for a wonderful opportunity for Sam and Mariah, along with their longtime co-worker Andrew Greeley, to pen a number of their adventures onto a whole lot of pages. Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli gives us a glimpse of what you, the reader, can expect. From 1995 to now, hard to believe that Dogfish Head is more than a quarter of a century old. And there's a whole lot that's happened in 26 years since Sam and Mariah Caligioni started the operation. And now a good chunk of that has been chronicled into a book. There's Squall, our old fave. One book, two and a half decades, three authors, and an endless amount of stories. Oh, I feel old, Katie. That's what I, I think. Sam Caligioni got the idea for the design-heavy work that dives deep into the history of each and every dogfish head brew, spirit, and cocktail, and includes the voices of many co-workers, in addition to the three authors, from a similar piece done by one of his favorite bands. Sam, his wife Mariah, and dogfish head innkeeper and general manager Andrew Greeley got together to make it happen. We knew it was going to be a lot of sort of image forward, and so Paul Thens helped a lot with that up here in Milton, and uh, we started collecting all the pictures, collecting all the stories, and uh, as we started writing it, uh, something we do at the inn often is a fireside chat. So Sam will come down and guests will sit around the fire, we'll open a couple beers and just have a conversation. So we wanted sort of the, the voice of the book to be very much like that fireside chat. Andrew interviewed 13 co-workers, all of whom are profiled in the book. He says deciding on who to talk to was no easy task, but the process was a blast. There were some hilarious ones. Uh, I think uh, for Brian Selders, who brews down at the pub, he had me laughing pretty much the whole time. Um, but I think the biggest piece for me with those co-worker stories is uh, there's one question we wanted to ask people that was, you know, why are you still here? Especially like Olivia has been here for so long and other long-standing co-workers and it blew me away how many of them uh, came to tears and said uh, Dogfish Head's family, Dogfish Head's home and uh, it was just a, it was a cool experience, sort of a reflection of how tight-knit our community is and has become over the 26 years. 26 years means a ton of photos to spend time sorting through. Mariah had her work cut out for her. A lot of the last 26 years I've been sort of behind the camera taking pictures and documenting um, sort of our the company and what we're doing from a marketing standpoint, social media standpoint, um, just sort of like the mom of the, of the group taking all the pictures. Um, so I spent a lot of time going through boxes of photos and hard drives of photos um, just of you know 25 years of um, what we were doing in Rehoboth and Milton and Lewis and then sort of traveling around the world for beer and so I kind of feel like this is the one baby book of my life that I finished and so now I have to do them for my two kids. <laughs> this baby book though means a whole lot to the brains behind the biz. Just really cathartic to see this come out on the page, all the hard work that so many people have contributed to over 26 years uh, creatively um, on our journey. Um, and so there's definitely, uh, it's, it's, uh, heart, it's heartwarming, especially when you get to view the, the company that you, you started. You know, I started with a business plan. Dogfish was a work of fiction until all these awesome coworkers helped me turn it into a, a work of nonfiction. And uh, certainly Andrew and, and Mariah have been you know, robust components of that journey the whole way. So getting their voices in there uh, has been really uh, critical to the, to the work. A journey that's been filled with off-centered adventures, as this crew would call them. Some ending in success, others in failure, all worth it. I would say we've chosen a, a model of kind of not following the status quo, taking some big risks. Sometimes they, they work, like our Sequench Ales, and that's now the best-selling sour beer in America, or Slightly Mighty, the best-selling locale IPA in America. The stories of those beers are, 
are in the book, but so are epic failures, things that we tried and threw at the wall and they didn't stick, but with humility and humor, we learn as much from the risks that we take that don't work as we do from the risks that we take uh, that do. Along with those adventures, this book recounts how what started as a craft beer brand became so much more. Yeah, and you know, sometimes it might sound a little precious when, when folks view their brand as a lifestyle brand, but for us, we intentionally kind of evolved our rallying cry from off-centered ales to off-centered people to off-centered goodness for off-centered people, and we are off-centered goodness for off-centered people. That is our raison d'etre, meaning our people come first, and the cool off-centered products, whether they're beer, clothes, coffee, a stay at a hotel, that comes second, but we take it really uh, seriously. Looking back, yeah, Sam doesn't have, he's not, he's not focused. He's like all over the place. So I should have known <laughs> that um, staying focused on beer probably wasn't exactly uh, what was the path was going to be, but I would have never known what it, what it would be. And I, it's, he wouldn't either. Like, I think one thing leads to another. And a lot of what we do and have done over 26 years is sort of meet people, learn about them and their story, and then find ways to collaborate with them. So until you know who you're going to meet and how you're going to connect, you don't really know the story that you're going to write. And though the book is published, this story is nowhere near over. I'm excited to figure out what they're going to be, because <laughs> we don't know. Um, but um, it'll evolve and it'll, it'll be a lot of fun, uh, no matter what it is. And in fact, there are still more stories to share. One of my favorite pieces in the whole book is right at the end, it talks about having our coworkers and all our fans mm -hmm. keep telling the stories that aren't in this book because those stories connect us and every time we tell them, it keeps those stories alive. So uh, I think uh, just because they're not in there, it doesn't mean they didn't happen. And it's a huge nod to, to all of our fans because uh, Without them, we, we wouldn't be here. And other stories are only beginning. Every day, someone's turning 21, so they're coming in to like learn about craft beer and to have that experience. And so there's always new people coming into the space. And you know, it is a little weird when people are like, oh yeah, that I like that beer. My dad drinks that beer. My mom loves that beer. I'm like, uh. <laughs> we've had been around for 26 years, but it's also kind of cool that like when families can connect over something like that and they you know we we have families coming into the tasting room with their adult kids who are home from college so i mean and now we're doing that with our own kids so that's that's kind of a cool experience that families have that 20 years ago when there wasn't a you know a vibrant brewing scene in the united states you didn't go to a brewery over you know christmas break with your with your family you I don't, did something else but that really wasn't an option so i love that you know all over the country over the holiday season parents are going to probably be going to a brewery with their kids and, and enjoying that for the first time, you know, now that they're at legal drinking age and um, having a shared experience. And to find a link to get your own copy, just head to delmarvalife.com. Jimmy and Lisa. Sam says that their newest adventure is opening a Dogfish Head Miami and that they also cover that in the book. Oh, I need to get my hands on that book. Right. Mm.